Before we get straight into the podcast, I just want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors, D Kirby GA Star. Declan Kirby GA Star Championship Journey. It's a series of GA team children's books written by primary school teacher and GA coach Michael Egan. You can check it out in the link in the description down below, of course, as well. Follow the trials and tribulations of Declan Kirby and his team at Smith Green Gaelic Football Club, recently formed a promising GA team. The book is now available in Easton's and all good bookshops, so check it out in the description down below. And let's get straight into it uh, i suppose that's a, a nice way to transition into the hurling obviously with, with the wexford hurlers obviously i suppose not a not a particularly great day for them either obviously they were beaten quite comfortably by kilkenny obviously a lot going on behind the scenes with wexford with the whole covid situation over the past week or so but i suppose for kilkenny i mean tj reed scoring 118 i mean probably yeah. one of the best hurlers in the country on his day absolutely no doubt about it. i don't think anyone can can disagree with that yeah tj back um just showed, yeah, like he, he just flew back in, you know, he's he's ready to uh ready to hit the ground and uh he was just really impressive. Um Wexford just looked a little bit like they're a bit off in it, you know, and that like that game, that's a game that, that kind of this bunch have really defined themselves over that they've really gone at Kilkenny over the last couple of years and had some big results and they've really flown into it. And you have to match Kilkenny in that, you know, in that in that you know, fight and work rate. Um, and over the last few years, some teams have been bigger and stronger than them and more physical than them. And that's why teams are beating them. But like Wexford just didn't look like they had that fight in them. So um, one of the big things they were discussing on the Sunday game, and I think it is accurate, like Davey is very much based on like plans and schedules and um, game plans, but also like schedule plans. And they did look like a team who were training quite hard. Like So... Mm. Um, like he is, he is with a team now who've done quite well. But they haven't had that big breakthrough, like that. They haven't got over that line, that big line at the end. So he maybe is conditioning them to be a bit peaking a bit later in the year. It's a risk that you that you take, like, because then you lose momentum and all of these things. So, um, but they did look like a team that've been training quite hard, and you know, you that sharpens the hurling when you play against a team who are, you know, fresh and hungry, and you've got tired legs, you'd be badly punished and. Kenny just kill Kenny them like they just you know, they just blitz them like and um it's not good for confidence because even though Wexford have been in a good place the last couple of years and they have been their standard has been very high, you're still feeding that inferiority complex against Kid Kenny, which I don't think is anything you should ever do. Um you need to stay on top of them teams and and you know stay, you know, keep keep certain standards against them. And they definitely didn't keep their standards. It was more like a performance for Kenny and Wexford that you would have seen from maybe six, seven years ago. Um, yeah, Westford just looked off, off the pace, way off the pace. So, um, yeah, yeah. So I'd said it this time of year, you just don't know. I, I noticed that in the first week of the hurling games, you could really notice that difference in teams who had trained hard and the difference in teams who kind of were coming into it a little bit fresher. Mm -hmm. So and that's just the the nature of that. That's sometimes the case in all league, in the leagues always, but like especially now the nature of the beast with the COVID structures. So. Um, that was quite apparent to me and that's the point they made in the Sunday game was that like if Wexford come in and if, if the tables are turned in the championship and Kilkenny are looking a bit of a gas team and Wexford are flying at them or whoever then everyone be saying isn't Davey a genius he timed them right you know so um, I think it's a bit of a risk how, how close the league is in I think you should kind of you should be trying to build momentum but you know mm. he's, he's doing what he's doing and and he's been successful obviously so he knows he's back in what he's doing and and uh but that's why i think led into that game because whatever about wexford losing games they generally always have a fight about them they didn't yeah no absolutely and i suppose from a kilkenny point of view like where would you even put them i suppose going into the into the all-ireland championship in terms of obviously with, with Brian Cody at the helm, I suppose there's a general consensus that maybe this year might be his last year, but I know people have been saying that for the past five or six years and it, it never does seem to be his last year. Where would you put Kilkenny in terms of maybe competing for that All-Ireland or even catching the likes of Limerick? Because I suppose they were the last team to beat Limerick in the championship yeah. anyways, two years ago, obviously in that 2019 semi-final. And they beat Limerick by playing Kilkenny Hurling. Like that's how they beat Limerick. Like they literally... Held their like they literally held their position. They beat Kenny in the air. They they beat them playing how they play. And I think that's what you see even like with Dublin and football or Kerry before that. Or you see and like teams are now trying to play like Limerick, 
and you're not going to beat Limerick in that game. Like, you know, they're playing through the hands. They're very physical. They're big men. They're really comfortable at that. They're, that's their game. And, like, even people were talking about Galway beating Limerick because they're able to match them physically and all this. But, like, Galway's chance to beat Limerick is why they obviously have big men, but they need to play their game, you know. And, um, yeah, like, for me, the Munster Championship looks a lot stronger. But Kilkenny... Yeah, I just think because they're all playing that type of way, but Kilkenny, when they get what they do, do right and they get it on the money, I and mean, Brian Cody is very simple in what he asks for, but when they get it right, like you're not beating it, like you know, it's so, that'll suffocate the life out of anyone. And when they get on the money, but like it's obviously hard to do that unless you have the personnel like kind of stand toe to toe. So, um, in terms of your question, I, I, I wouldn't be thinking they're going to win all Ireland, no, but um, against Limerick, I think that they're a team if they got Limerick in a knockout game. You know, they could be a team that could take them down because they've already shown by doing what they do, it can break that Limerick system. But it takes massive physicality, massive work rate, like huge because Limerick are bigger men and they are obviously so set in their, their game plan. But for me, looking at the, the games, the teams are all look very strong and Munster, like Tipperary obviously looks so fluid and so balanced in attack. Um, Waterford, a really good team. Like you'd see that they've carried on from last year. There's that, especially the last day, just that, work rate that speed that intensity um and when they get that going they're just so hard to beat and then cork look like a really good team again they've kind of gone back to their dna um don't look they're kind of playing through the hands and their forward line just look a real goal threat real goal threat so um the teams that look best for me are in in munster even though galway obviously can't be can't be discounted or discredited either like so um it looks very open in one sense, but at the same time, Limerick could have been dominant. So um, mm. I think it'd be a good hurling championship, though, because a lot of them teams could beat each other. Like, you know, Waterford, um, Cork, Tip, and Limerick, they're, they're all good. And then Clare, obviously, are a good team as well. And you're going to into Mont, like, they're all strong, you know. So it's going to be very, it's going to be all very competitive. I can't see anyone wiping the floor of someone in a, in a provincial semi final or, final or, or onwards. And would you still have Limerick maybe at the at the top? Because I think a lot of people, even though they haven't won a game so far this year, would probably still have them as the as the favourites going into the into the All Ireland Championship this year. Last year, the team that I that I picked was Galway, and even though they went closest to or somewhat close, I suppose Waterford did yeah, overall. Um, yeah, I just think that the way Galway play, I, I don't know if it's quite going to catch Limerick. Um, yeah, I think I think it's in one of those monster teams. I think is the team who's going to catch them. I I don't know quite where. Um, I think Limerick will get caught though. Um, but quite where I'm not sure. I don't know if Waterford are quite ready, but I I'd say Waterford. Um, mm. are the team that I just like them. I like the way they play. Um, they're so intense, but they just need to get the bodies back out and like get everyone out fit and be at full strength and stuff like that. But um, I'd say Waterford, but not with any confidence at all. Um. Yeah, and then it's it's obviously knockout this year. Like so, I just think one of the monster teams might build a bit of momentum, and so we'll see, we'll see. But Waterford are just a team who last year went well. Um, I fancied them as an outsider last year. I thought they would go well, but I didn't think they'd get to an Ireland final. Um, so I can't see any reason why they won't keep improving, and maybe they will this year. They'd have learned a lot from, um, they'd have learned a lot from last year, and then that win over Limerick was like a mental even though the, the sending off had a massive impact on the game, it would have been a massive mental lift as well. So, um, yeah, they're, the way they play, they'll, you know, they'll get more and more confidence in that work rate, that speed, that intensity, that pushing up, um, bunch in the middle. So, yeah, they're the team that, that, I, that I fancy outside Limerick.